welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I am going to tell you how to install Git on Mac. There are multiple ways to install Git on Mac, but we are going to install it in the easiest way possible using Homebrew. So let's begin. The first step will be to download Git. To do that, you need to open a browser of your own choice. I am going to open Google Chrome. And in the search bar, I am going to type Git download. There you go. In the search results, I am going to click on this first link, which is of the website git-scm.com. I'm going to click on it. And there you go. We are on the official website of Git. Over here, under download section, there are multiple options. Now, since we have to install Git on Mac, therefore, we'll download the Git that is specific to Mac OS only. So, we are going to click on this Mac OS over here. There are six options available to you for installing Git on Mac OS. And like I said earlier, I am going to go with the easiest one, which is using Homebrew. At least to me, it is the easiest. Before we begin the installation, we'll have to check if the Homebrew is installed on your Mac or not. To do that, you need to open the terminal for which you are going to press command space and write terminal over here. And there you go, terminal is open. Once your terminal is open, you are going to simply type the command brew hyphen v. You press enter. And if this command gives you the version of the homebrew installed, then homebrew is installed on your Mac. Or if it gives command not found error, then you need to install homebrew. To install homebrew, you need to go back to this page. And you need to click on this homebrew link which you can find within this text install homebrew if you don't already have it so you click on this homebrew over here and it's going to take you to the website brew.sh which is the official website of homebrew and over here you are going to find this section install homebrew within which you will find this command you click on this icon to copy this command all right and then you go back to terminal and paste it over here like this you hit enter and the installation of homebrew will begin it's asking me for the password so let me enter the password all right the installation has begun even the homebrew was installed on my mac it is reinstalling let it happen there is nothing wrong maybe it will install an upgraded version So homebrew is installed for me. It says installation successful over here. Now let's check the version of the homebrew installed. Has it upgraded to the latest version or not? Let's find out. So it will be brew hyphen V. I enter and there you go. Earlier the version was 3.6.7. You see it over here. And now I have upgraded it to 4.1.25. All right. So following this method, you can install homebrew on your Mac. And now it's time to install Git. To install Git, you need to go back to the previous page. Over here under the section Homebrew, a command is written, which is brew install Git. You simply need to run this command on your terminal. Let's run this. So it will be brew install Git. I hit enter. All right, the download and the installation has begun. Still downloading. Okay. And there you go. The installation has completed. To find out whether Git has successfully installed or not, we are going to run another command, which will be Git space version. And this command should give the version of the Git installed. If this command displays the version, then we can say that we have successfully installed Git on Mac. I hit enter and there you go. Git version 2.24.3 is installed on my Mac.
all right since i have successfully installed git on my mac i would like to test it out by creating a git repository for my project this is a python flask api project that i have been working on for a while and i would like to create a git repository for this project so i am in pycharm and in console i am going to type the command git init and it should create a git repository if it does then my git installation is 100 percent successful and it's in working condition i hit enter and there you go it says initialized empty git repository so it has created the git repository for my project and thus i can say that git installation is 100 percent successful for me and with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to install git on your mac from this video of joey's tech any doubts you have regarding the installation of git on your mac do ask them in the comment section do like this video do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do share this video with your friends who are in need to install git on their mac i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself